What's up guys, uh, we really got an early Christmas present and I'm happy to announce that we finally got an iOS 7 untethered jailbreak. Now we got a long list of compatible devices, so I'm going to list them right now. So they are the iPhone 3GS, 4, 4S, 5, 5C, and 5S, as well as the iPad Touch 4th generation, 5th generation, the iPad 2, the iPad 3rd generation and 4th generation, the iPad mini, and the iPad mini retina display and finally the iPad Air. So we do get a lot of compatible devices and they only work from iOS 7.0 to 7.0.4. So let's get started. So I'm going to put a link in the description to evasion.com and, so, and there you can select Mac OS X or Windows as of right now I'm going to use Mac. When you click the link you're going to get a download uh, page and it's going to download obviously Evasion 7. So once you have it extracted into your desktop, you want to go ahead and double click it, click open. Alright, you're going to get this window. Uh, you want to make sure that your iPhone or whatever device you have is backed up and restored just to be sure, as well as connected. So once it's connected, you can go ahead and click on jailbreak. And it'll do its process like normal. I'll upload a separate video for the Windows version, but really there's nothing different about it. It's just a different operating system. Alright, I do in fact skip through uh, most of this video because it does take a long process, but I do stop at the uh, ones where it tells you to do a command. So right now it's telling me to unlock my device and tap on Evasion 7. So when you do unlock your device, you're going to get a new icon and it says Evasion 7. So simply just tap it once and then just leave it there. It's nothing really too complicated but if you still have any questions just leave a comment and I'll try to uh, answer your question as soon as possible. But besides that it's pretty simple like I said there's nothing to it and I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. Most of the steps is just going to be rebooting the device and then it'll tell you when it's done. So as you can see there to continue please unlock your device. So that's pretty much it really and uh, we'll get back to the video right now. All right, now it's done. So let's go to our home screen. All right, I apologize for not uh, recording this part, but when you first get CDA, you're gonna go ahead and tap on it, and then you're gonna get a black screen telling you that it's processing and it's gonna reboot once it's done, which is normal. It's gonna take a while though, so just be patient. All right, so when you first open up CDA, you're gonna get three options here: user, hacker, developer. You can choose whatever. I usually choose user, but you can always change it later. Once you've done that, you're going to get this CDA home screen. You're also going to get another pop-up telling you to do a essential upgrade or a complete upgrade. I just chose a complete upgrade. So once you have that installed, you're pretty much good to go. You finally got CDA working on your iOS device. Now keep in mind, most of the tweaks are not compatible with iOS 7, so please give it time. But if you guys have any more questions, simply post a comment. If you do like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Have a happy holidays, guys, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.